Welcome to Movies in Minutes. This is episode seven, baby. I'm Stephanie B, and across the desk from me is JR3. How are ya? Do I talk now? No. No? Please let me have permission to say something. Go on then. Hey, folks, it's JR3 and Stephanie B. This is the movie review podcast show from wherever. I know. It's bloody cold here. That's where it is. Absolutely freezing here. Everyone around the country doesn't want to talk about global warming. This is global freezing. I reckon. Bloody global warming. Anyway, today, Steph, Movies and Minutes, what is the genre? The genre today is musicals, baby. Who doesn't love a good singing and dancing routine, especially when it's in the context of a musical? I love it. Oh, it's not everyone's cup of tea, though. No, that's true. That's absolutely (laughs) true. Okay. You can start. What musical are you bringing to the table? I have picked The Greatest Showman. Well, he was The Greatest Showman. Yes, he was. Yeah, Wolverine without claws. I like it. Hell yeah. He looks bloody good too. He can do anything, Hugh Jackman. Apparently. Has he tried welding? No, I'm joking. (laughs) Anyway, tell me, The Greatest Showman, what is that about? It's about P.T. Barnum, the circus man. Yes, the Barnum family. The Barnum family, yes. So he comes from, he's from a poor family and he has these dreams, aspirations of becoming famous and everyone loving him and has this idea he wants to entertain people but wants to have like a little niche thing happening so he decides to recruit I suppose all the outcasts of society you know there's a bearded lady there's a giant tall man there's mixed race people in there yes. so yeah that the rich people just don't want a bar of these outcasts but he brings them all together and creates a, a show like a living museum almost isn't it yes pretty much like what was it called oddities the oddities yes that's what he calls them among other things but then you've got Zac Efron, who's this well-to-do, rich, upper-class guy who's theatre producer. That's right, but yeah. he really doesn't like his job, but he loves, well, he loves his lifestyle. Pretty much. Yes. Zac Efron's loaded. Hugh Jackman needs someone to finance everything, so he gets Zac Efron on board. Oh, and there's so much love stories in there between Hugh Jackman and Michelle Williams as his wife, and they have like their own love story, and Zendaya is in it as well. And the love story between Zac Efron and Zendaya, because Zendaya is dark, she's yes. a, a dark race, yes. and she's lower class, and Zac Efron falls in love with her, and he's outcast by his family. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Oh my God. So what makes this interesting and happening, and, and musical numbers all the way through it as well? Oh, I know. Now, we all know the famous songs from it, This Is Me, and of course, I'm Never Enough. Yes. Oh, that's that's my favourite one. Great song and greatly staged. Even though the actress playing that role, that song was dubbed. She didn't sing it. The girl from The X no. Factor actually came in and recorded that and nailed it. <laughs> Did she? Yeah, but from watching it on the film, you can't tell that that's dubbed and that girl looks like she's singing that yes, song. Yes, that's my favourite. She has such presence in that movie. Oh, I know. That's uh, Rebecca Ferguson. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Jenny Lind. That's right, Jenny oh. Lind, the famous opera singer. Yes, but the song wasn't operatic at all. But no, it wasn't. Such but hey, you just go, movie. Yes, right? and the <laughs> The way the music's all done, I've even got the soundtrack and I listen to it over and over again. Yeah. The whole thing just evokes all these emotions in you. Yes. And the first time I saw it, I was just totally blown away. It's like, oh my God, this movie is just amazing. The songs, you normally go musicals, they're kind of, you know, a bit of gap fillers, yeah. but here yeah. they're part of the story. You feel every bit of the emotion and the story is fantastic. Okay, well, that's fantastic. Yeah, I sound excited, don't I? I know. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, how many starfish out of five are you giving the greatest showman, Steph? I'm giving it a whole five stars. Five out of five? Yep, yep, You just don't do that that often. No, but this was just totally blew me away. It's because of Wolverine without the claws, isn't it? Oh, he's so hot. And like I said at the start, who doesn't love a good song and dance routine? Yes, and Zac Efron is so talented. He can sing, dance, act. Oh, Oh, scary. No, thanks. Anyway, (laughs) movies in minutes. All right, Jay, that was my movie. What have you got for musicals? I'll show me yours and I'll show your mind that's what you're saying yes musicals Ooh. is the genre and i picked the academy award winning wonderful musical called chicago omg tell me all about it oh, and all that jazz yes now this was <laughs> one of the films that came out just after the millennium there was in within 18 months we had three musicals that really changed a lot of the way things were done you had eight mile with eminem which oh. broke bo- box office records yeah and also in there you had moulin rouge the aussie film baz luhrmann and nicole kidman and cast oh, of a million wow. and in the middle of that you also had 
Chicago. This is the 2002 film version mm-hmm. based on the 1975 musical Broadway play. Oh, wow. Who's in it? Uh, everybody is in this. The main <laughs> roles are Catherine Zeta-Jones, who won the Academy Award, Renee Zellweger. Oh, wow. You've got Richard Gere as the solicitor, John C. Riley as the long-suffering husband, and Queen Latifah as matron Mama Morton, hard to say. <laughs> That's a tongue twister It is, half. yep. Now, this movie explores the themes of celebrity, scandal and corruption in Chicago during the 1920s. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you've got all that Charleston mm. going on and bootleg liquor and yes. a good song and dance routine. Yes. Great soundtrack. And like I said, it was adapted from the stage and it pays tribute to the famous director-choreographer, Bob Bossy. Wow. So this is about two people, uh, murderesses on death row, Roxy mm-hmm. Hart, mm-hmm. which is Renee Zellweger, and the singing, all-dancing, Belle McKelly, which is Catherine Zeta-Jones. And they find themselves in jail and the governor is Madame... Ma- I can't even say oh, that again. what's her name, Madame Morton? Madame... Ma- 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 <laughs> Mama. Matron Mama Morton. <laughs> So they're in jail. They're in and jail. They, what they put a show on in jail? No, a lot of it's through the eyes of Roxy Hart. So when she's seeing things happen yeah. uh, on the screen, it's through her eyes. So there's always a song going on to explain, you know, exposition and plot lines. So wow. it's clever the way they've done it. And the choreography is awesome, absolutely awesome. It's directed by Rob Marshall, which was his um, film debut. Now this thing cost forty-five million, mm-hmm. and it made three hundred and six million in a matter of weeks. Wow. Not to mention, you know, in DVD and digital yeah, sales yeah, and all yeah. that stuff. It's the first time. <laughs> musical has won Best Picture since Oliver in 1968. And this ended up winning six Academy Awards, Best Picture and Best Director and all that sort of stuff. Wow. And Catherine Zeta-Jones won the uh, Best Supporting Actress. Yeah, did she deserve that one, you reckon? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. She nailed that role. Wow. Absolutely nailed it. And she was like 19 months pregnant during it. Really? So when she went up to accept the award, she even did the same all that jazz routine while she was in a leotard and nine months pregnant. <laughs> and gave birth. And gave birth. And then they gave <laughs> her the nine. award for that. There you go. Yeah, that's, that's a brave right. woman. A that's a brave woman. <laughs> Anyway, out of five stars, I'm giving it 19 and a half. Do, 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 do. You, Actually, you can because it's your show. Yeah, well, <laughs> I failed maths, but anyway, no, I'm going to do what Steph did and give it five out of five. Anyway, this is Movies and Minutes. Now, Steph, if you want to contact us here at the show, you've got to do something called two strings and a can. No, two cans no. and a string. What is it? Flying pigeon? Jumping frog? How do they contact us? Email info at jrtriplefm.com. And also, you've got to do the like, subscribe, click button on YouTube thing. Yes, and turn on your notifications. And get those little bells ringing. Yes, Absolutely. Woo. I like the sound of that. It's been Movies and Minutes. I've been JR3. And this has been Stephanie B. Until next time, bye for now. Bye. This show is proudly brought to you by Celebrity Extreme Sports. 8,000 metres, 12 massive egos and one angry mountain. Watch your favourite celebs take on Mount Everest in a high-strung 12-part adventure. For absolutely no reason at all. The tears, the tantrums and the severe texting. It's a celebrity extreme sports adventure. Celebrity extreme sports. Don't miss it. (laughs) 